What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog once again. This is Hell New York with Sean. I got my friend here, Michael, and we decided to go somewhere that's very, very interesting. We're back, back, back again, and this week we're doing Vegan on the Fly. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna use the hell out of that sound. <laughs> So, since we've come back from vegan on the fly, we want to see how fly that vegan food really, really is. Is it worth it or is it not worth it? Now we're going to find out and let you know. Dump it or dump it. Yep. The first thing that we're going to try is the burger called On The Fly. And we're going to see how fly that burger really is. Is it a buzz buzz or a... A buzz kill. That part. So let's get into it. Let's see what they're working with. While he's chewing on that, I'm just gonna break half of this off because uh, we're gonna share with the cameraman. He's also the prop master. AKA Ernesto. The mysterious cameraman. Mm -hmm. He's a new Doctor Strange. <laughs> Had your impossible burger with cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, um, pickles on top of that as well. And we're gonna mm. give it the first bite. Oh, look at that. Hit it, chew it, chew it, do it, do it. My neck, his tongue. <laughs> stop. Oh, oh. Well, you made me turn into Luke. Don't stop, get it, get it. Go ahead, go, go. Come on, oh, he punked <laughs> out, he punked out, y'all. Here we go. <laughs> Let me show him how it's done. Mm. What do you think? Just keep talking, because I need to I need to chew this a little more. Hold on. So. It really does taste like a regular burger with the tomatoes, the lettuce, the pickles, the cheese. You really wouldn't even notice a difference out of it at all. None. And it's really tasty. Okay, that part. And also, you know when you put something in your mouth and you don't want it to come out? That's what this is like. It goes in, it goes down, it stays down. I don't know if you can hear that. Lips back and good. But it's loosey because it's juicy. And yeah, take it, lips back and good. And this vegan cheese? Not bad at all. And I got my opinions about vegan cheese, but they're improving on this. It tastes like real cheese. It don't stick to your teeth. And it, it won't go down easy if it ain't cheesy. Mm-hmm. You know the game. And more importantly, the game knows me. All right, we back y'all with the second sandwich that I picked that I cannot be hyper about, because you already know what borough we jack over here. Exactly, you know what it is. Chopped cheese. And you know how chopped cheese go down. And how you pull up in the, in the deli bodega and order it. You pull up and you say that I need chopped cheese with lettuce, tomatoes on a bun, whether it be a sub or a regular bun, and you need that quick, quick, quick. And you gentrifiers. Don't listen to that. We don't want y'all. Mm -hmm. right, here we go, y'all, here we go. I couldn't even wait. I started this. Oh, God. And Ooh. it looks good. Y'all see how that fell apart? You probably didn't see it, but it, it, it's, I could not be happier about this. Uh, I can it, see the expression on your face. You are happy about this one. I felt like I was already eating it. Like, first of all, I can smell it. You know how that hits your throat, right? And it starts to make your taste buds jumping. Mm. And it ain't go down easy if it ain't cheesy. Exactly, this is no thing, baby. Mm. Philly what? This is good. Philly who? Philly where? That part, where? Not over here. Trust me when I tell you this. New York City, got this a lot. Boom, shakalaka. Mm, mm. It is good, it's fresh. Mm, so fresh and so clean, I'll cast. Mm -hmm. Really good, it's fresh. No heavy aftertaste, no bad aftertaste. It's not hitting the stomach like a ton of bricks at all. But it's all the tastes. And you can taste everything individually in your mouth and you can taste everything all together in combination. This right here, I put on the bill. Oh, he said on the bill. And again, Philly who? Philly what? Philly where? Not here. And then now, here we are with the chicken chopped cheese. I didn't even know that was a thing, y'all. But it is a real thing, the vegan style version of it. Oh. 
Now, now we're gonna put this meat in our mouth. And see how it goes down. Slow. Is it cheesy? Cause it ain't gonna go down easy if it ain't cheesy. Damn, damn right. Let's see how it is. Not another. Mm. This is pretty good. Pretty good or pretty great? It's pretty, really good. Pretty, really good. Really, really good. Oh, I can't wait to put this in my mouth. And it's chicken. And I don't know, y'all don't know me, but I don't like chicken. Cause I like it mature. <laughs> Not the young buck type. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Mm. Keep talking, cuz. All these flavors just hitting my mouth. Like a flavor war going on? Yeah. Um, there might be one flavor that I'm missing. Which is? And there you go. Secret sauce. Mmm. But well, okay. Um, really got something that they're working with. It's not dry. It's fresh. You can taste everything. It's like a flavor war in your mouth where everything is melting all together, but at the same time, you can also taste the individual flavors as themselves. And it's not heavy, no nasty appetite, like I've always said before in the past, and it goes down smooth. Mm. And I didn't know that this existed, but after having this, I gotta say, Philly, you can have your chopped cheese, because we got this chopped chicken over here. Mm -hmm. Now, after all that eating, we got to the mac and cheese. Now, let's see how the mac and cheese gets cheesy in my mouth. And it better be cheesy. For it to go down good. And I heard that good mac and cheese is supposed to sound like something that I can't say right now to not get this video banned. When you stir it, it's supposed to sound like something that, if you know, you know. <laughs> exactly, the way I ain't gonna say, if you do know, you know exactly what we're talking about. I mean, maybe if you got like really good hearing. Um, I heard it. <laughs> maybe I, it's just my hearing. I heard it. So I clearly work with some shady hoes. They're haters. Wow, see how you are? Hey, get down to the eating. Give it to it. I need a fork. Why eat with a fork? Just put your hands up in it. Why would I want to do that? Because it's cheesy. It's going to go down easy. Oh, mm hmm. But I don't want to turn around and have it go down with some other stuff in my hands. Ooh, y'all, look. He, th he thought he was fancy for a minute with real silverware, but we in a paper cup. Mm hmm. Unfortunately. Not a plate, but a cup. I don't know and we're going to still taste it just as the same. Don't it, I have to plastic fork. It's still going to taste the same. But I'm just saying. Just for more class. You didn't taste it. Speaking of class. You know what? You not taste, you gotta taste it. What I'm thinking about this mac and cheese right here. What you thinking? He's thinking, y'all. Where it goes to comparing this to something like Kraft mac and cheese or Velveeta, this is a lighter taste. Their cheese is a lot thicker, a lot heavier. This is a lot lighter, a lot fresher. Is it plus or minus? Is a it? plus. This is definitely a plus. It's not a minus, this is definitely a plus. I got something to say. Which is? Did he really just say Kraft macaroni and cheese, y'all? Wow. <laughs> I did say Kraft macaroni and cheese, trust me. I could have said Velveeta. Yes, I did say Velveeta. Project! <laughs> it is what it is. And it's gonna be what it is. But it's good though. It's well, really, really good. All right, let's see. I'm gonna tell you right now, I agree with the light things that he was saying, but it ain't going down easy. Why, y'all? Because it ain't cheesy. It ain't cheesy. But I like the fact that the cheese is not heavy. It's not heavy. The, cheese, not is, the cheese is non existent, let's be real. Mac and cheese. These are orange noodles, y'all. Wow, wow. <laughs> Needs more cheese. Really? Mac and cheese. Thank you. True. I mean, like, it's mac and cheese, I understand, I get it. Thank but see, the you. thing is, is that when you have a lot of cheese, I mean, the cheese takes over the whole thing, and I like a little balance. 
And from the beginning of time, nobody has ever complained about the mac and cheese being too cheesy. Yeah, but you never have enough cheese. Unless you're five years old. Five years old, you're gonna be cheese galore. Yup, cheese there. galore. You're and gonna be all in it to win it with the cheese. But as time goes by and your, chase, your taste starts to change a little bit, yeah, you can kind of lit up with the with the cheesiness, so that way you can get a full balanced taste and taste everything that's in there. Boomer. Wow. <laughs> then I'm five years old because I like cheesy. But as far as just mac and cheese, it gets a thumb down. Yo, I had to say that. When you started going with the, the age things, I was like, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> now, our thoughts. Is it fire or is it on wet? Well, my thoughts on the place, a bit of a combination of a lot of it was fire, slightly wet, but I would go back again for a second time around and see exactly how I really, really feel about it. But at the moment, I like it. It's fine. I would have gave it a soggy, because it's between wet and fire. But the reason why I'm tilting over towards the fire over here, not only is my man wearing the red and I got to attach to that, but that chopped cheese. Yes. And that feeling you can have your cheese steaks because we got the chopped chicken. Keep yours. The fries was okay. That mac and cheese we never gonna get again. It was disrespectful to even compare it to Kraft macaroni and cheese. Wow. Because it didn't go down easy. My bad. No cheesy. Now, with that being said, what what you think about the location? I didn't go, but my cameraman did, and I'm glad that you opened up that doorway because I wanted to get my cameraman's opinion on his food. Now, what do you think? Location? Well, I mean, it is Times Square, so um, you have to ex expect what you expect in Times Square. I think the place is fire, except for the mac and cheese. I need more cheese. And what else? Let the patrons use the bathroom. They don't let nobody use the bathroom? Nope, I couldn't wash my hands. That's why I got blood. I'm happy I took it to go because I washed my hands at home. No bueno, no bueno, no bueno. No bathroom, no bueno. He was too good to lick his hands like a cat, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You're so terrible, I swear to God. So guys, with that being said, he's Sean. We out. Like you said, I'm Sean. Michael and the mysterious cameraman, Ernesto. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> and like I said, follow on my Instagram, drink at Michael. <laughs> <laughs> People were only one family. Y'all, I even said that wrong, it's true with Michael, drink at Michael, drink at Michael. And with that, time to go. Later.